you can't just walk up and say, here's 20 grand. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll they be still there have to be good. They, I have to be, have an interest yeah, in 100%. what they're saying because my interest ultimately in life is to get the knowledge from the people who have it to the people who need it because I believe that's why people are failing. Yeah. Like my dad, believe it or not, you know, his whole life, uh, he was a hard worker. He did all the things you hear you have to do and he didn't make it. Mm-hmm. He wasn't financially successful. He tried to, he just didn't have the right information. So at the end of the day, I think if we can get the knowledge from the people who have it to the people who need it, we're gonna all live in a more successful world, right? Yeah. So like in your case, if you got a billion dollars in real estate, well then you have some knowledge that people need. Why? Because that's not normal. How did you do that? Like now I want you on the podcast so I can say, how did you do that? Because there's people out there wondering. And quite frankly, part of what I teach people is if you want to get anything you want in life, it's pretty simple to do. First thing you have to do is figure out what it is. That's the hard part. Most people think that's the easy part. The second thing you do is figure out how to get it, which that's the easy part. Most people think that's the hard part. People are like, what do you mean? If you knew how to get it, well, all you have to do is find someone who's already got it. Find someone who's already done it. That's pretty easy, right? Sure. So if I figure out who you are or what I want, then I figure out that you already did it. Well, I'm going to figure out what you did yep. and I'm going to go do that work. So I yep. do the work. That's step three. Figure out what you want. Figure out how to get it, which is who did it already. And then do the work they did. And I'll bet you anything, most cases, yeah. you'll get what they got. Yep. Now people say, well, not always. Dude, are you looking to be negative or are you yeah. looking to be positive? <laughs> like you got to have an optimistic outlook. Yeah. You have to have abundance. Scarcity is something that I don't have. Yeah. Like when people ask me about, you know, well, how'd you take this risk and that risk? And it's like, it, was it really a risk? And they're like, oh, you could have lost everything. There's more. Like how you lose everything if there's more? Yeah. Well, what if you lost all your money? How is that possible? I'd go get more. Yeah. There's more money out there. Yeah. Oh, well, geez, you know, you might not get any. That's scarcity. Yep. I don't have that. Yeah. I know I can get more money. Yeah. So you, the opposite of a scarcity mindset, we might call it an abundant mindset. 100%. There's a ton of people in the world that don't have that. I mean, I would guess 90% of people I know just don't, don't have that. Yeah. How does one develop an abundant mindset? Well, it's really, again, evidence-based, if you ask me, is like you have to have a little experience or trust. Yeah. Because, again, trust me, there is an abundant mindset. So if, the, if you know that there is one, what does it look like? You know, start studying, start researching, start getting new information. And that new information starts to change your beliefs. And then your beliefs change yeah. and you become abundant because you, you, I used to be scarcity mindset. Now I'm abundant mindset. So how, what changed? New information? Like new information changes your beliefs. Your beliefs control your actions. So if you want to change what you're getting or what you have, you have to change what you do and what you think. Yeah. And the only way to change what you do and what you think is to, is to change your belief system. Yep. And your belief system can only be changed with new information. Because if you have the same information, nothing will change. So you seek new information, right? You yep. be open to it. Obviously, you identify that you want to do it. But then you just literally get new information to where your beliefs begin to change. And they will over time, some, some quicker than others. Like if I, if I made you believe that your hand would not burn in a flame, you know, you might believe it, but it'll change instantly as soon as you do that and you get new information that, hey, it does burn. So you'd stop believing me and you'd start believing that it burns. And guess what? You would change your beliefs instantly. But sometimes it takes time, it takes evidence. Let me let me let me look. Let me see. Let me think. Let me test. But it ultimately, I think, boils down to logic. Logic tells me that there's abundance. Mm. What, what is there a limitation of? People even say diamonds. Dude, there's no limitation in diamonds. They, they, they control that market. Yep, 100%. There's no limitation in this world. There's only abundance. 